Teams playing in new places, and no better example of that than in Division II, Finley District, with the so-called WBL sectional. Salon is the top seed. They'll play in the Lima Senior sectional against the winner of Otsego and Fostoria. Also, as Lima's at Lima Senior, Bath faces Tiffin Columbia in the late game on Tuesday, with the Elida awaiting the winner on Friday night. Meanwhile, Riverdale, Shawnee, and Kenton will square off Wednesday the 4th. That's the 7 o'clock start. Winner takes on St. Mary's in the early game Friday. Wapakoneta faces Upper Sandusky in the late game on the 6th. Winner of the Finley District played at Liberty Benton, advancing to the Bowling Green Regional, taking on the Toledo District. Winner of note defiance, the one seed, will play at the Sylvania Southview sectional against Toledo Woodward. That'll be the late game on Thursday, March the 5th. Napoleon is also in that sectional. The Wildcats play Wasi on Tuesday the 3rd. And Matt is standing by with one of those one seeds. Matt? Here to talk to us, Coach. And how do you feel about your draw? Seems like you've got to be happy as the top seed. Yes, I, you know, I think things went pretty well. Uh, um, and I don't think we could ask for much more. Oh, that's great. Well, on the court, how are you guys preparing for the postseason now that you know what you're up against? Well, you know, <laughs> It's a little tough to prepare it. We've got Marion local tomorrow night, and uh, you know that's going to be a, a big task for us. But uh, so we've got to get ready for those guys, and, and, and then we've got LCC coming on Saturday. So um, you know I'm not sure that we can really change a whole lot at this point in time. But um, you know there's going to be a point in time where we're going to have to get ready for tournament. Do you like how the schedule played out with those tough games later on in the year? Really get tested before you start into the tournament. Yes, uh, you know, I, th I think it's definitely a, a plus for us. Uh, you know, you learn to play night in and night out and make sure that you come to play and, and th that you got your A game because uh, if you don't with the schedule we play any given time, you can get beat. 16-2 and two on the season, 7-0 and oh in the WBL, and also winners of 11 straight. What's been the key to, to the success this year, if you can pinpoint it? Uh, you know, i got to believe that uh, probably the biggest key is um, we've got a lot of guys that, that put the team first. Um, you know, we've got some players, we, we almost have five guys averaging double figures, and any one of those guys could score a whole lot more points uh, if they wanted to, but they understand that um, to win, we've got to make sure we've got a team and that we've got to have multiple threats, and, and everybody's got to be able to uh, turn it on at any given time. So, um, you know, I just think the whole concept of, of the team, and, you know, you see that on the offensive end, we see that on the defensive end, we see it in the full court, and, uh, uh, you know, I think that makes us a lot better team. A lot of seniors on this team, and last year you guys lost to Bath in the, in the sectional finals. Are they using that as a motivating factor? Um, you know, I think last year's team and this year's team is different. So, um, uh, you know, I do think that they learn from it, though. I think they want to make sure, once again, that we're multidimensional so that, um, you know, we can have more than one person scored, and, and these guys are pretty good at that. And, um, uh, you know, last year against Bath, uh, they come at us and, and they trapped us and, and put some pressure on us and we weren't quite ready for it. And, uh, you know, I think we're better at handling that pressure and, and our guys have put in a pretty good uh, summer. So I think everything's pretty well uh, intact at this point. Andy jokingly referred to it as the WBL sectional. <laughs> is it fun competing against teams you're so familiar with? It, or is, is there an advantage, disadvantage? Uh, no, it's not fun. <laughs> I like to get out. I want to get out and play some new teams, uh -huh. you know, play some different blood. Uh, you know, these teams in the WBL, they know you inside and out, and on any given night, uh, you know, you can get upset. So um, uh, I think it's good for us. I think most of the coaches in the WBL like to get out and play outside of the league. Let's talk about Ryan Hoyne for a minute. He's the school's all-time leading scorer now. What does he bring to your team, and how, how do you rely on him as a leader on the floor? Well, uh, he, uh, you know, if you go back and, and track the points that he scores, he scores probably 60% of his points in the second half. Uh, you know, in the first half, he's trying to find out who's hot, who's not, uh, who needs the ball, and, and, and he's really playing the game and understanding the game and figuring things out. And, uh, and he just does a phenomenal job in, uh, on the offensive side. And then on the defensive side, he ends up uh, defending the other team's best player most of the time. And, and so defensively, he doesn't take any, any time off. Uh, you know, so offensively, defensively, we rely on him pretty heavily. Before we let you go, you guys are played really well in close games. How will that help you as you get into tournament play? Uh, you know, I think executing down the stretch will make a big difference. And, and as long as uh, we're used to it and as long as we continue with the same focus that we've had, I think it will make a big difference, uh, especially when you find teams that are as good as you are and, and you get into tournament, that's what it's all about. There will be some up good upcoming opponents coming up. And best of <laughs> luck bet. to you. Thank you for coming by.